in today's video I'm going to show you how to paint those cute polar bears. You can follow this with any brushes you are comfortable with, but I will list everything I'm using in the description below. The texture and all brushes that I use in this video are from my watercolor bundle. I use a paper texture called Canvas Basic. As you can see, I already have my sketch here. You can draw your own one or use mine, which is available for download in the description. For now, I'll turn off the sketch and I'll prepare the background of the illustration. As a brush, I'll take the watercolor background and for the color, I choose dark blue. And I just fill the whole page, trying to give a sort of interesting pattern. Now I grab the watercolor detail blurred to smooth it out a bit. Now I switch the brush to the watercolor detail heavy dyed dead. This brush has darker edges, so it will add a nice watercolor effect. And again I will smooth it out a bit with the watercolor detail blurred. Now I'll choose a bit lighter tone and as a brush the watercolor heavy diluted. I think it looks fine, but still kind of boring. So I'm going to use the selection tool set to freehand and I'm going to just select kind of random area. I feather it out, then I go to hue saturation brightness and I change the hue a bit to get different shades of blue. It looks nice, so we can move on and start working on the bears. I'll tear on the sketch and I'll make a new layer above the sky. But for now I'll lower the opacity of the sky to see the sketch better. I choose a light grey color and I'll take ink as a brush and I'll fill in the sketch of the bigger bear. I use the eraser brush which is set to the ink and I clean the edges. Now I'll add one more layer, I choose white and still with ink brush I'll paint the small bear. Once it's ready, I move on to the face, I do it on a separate layer, I choose black and the watercolor for everything as a brush. I lower the opacity of the sketch and I will paint the eyes, nose and mouth of the big bear. I take the white and I'll add a twinkle in its eyes and on the nose. Now on a new layer I will paint the eyes, nose and mouth of the little bear in the same way. Now I can turn off the sketch, I don't need it anymore. I'll make a new layer above the bird's body but below its face. I'll choose a light grey color and I'll grab the watercolor heavy diluted as a brush. I'll apply clipping mask on this new layer so everything on it will only cover the little bear's body. Now I'll add shadows on the little bear. So just imagine that there is light coming from one side so some parts will be more in shadow. And just add darker spots where you feel they should be. You can just play around with different brushes. I also use the watercolor C because it blurs nicely with other shades. Now I grab the watercolor detail blurred to smooth it out a bit. I 
think the little bear looks nice for now, so I do exactly the same for the big one. I would like to add some brighter places, for this I'll take white and the watercolor detail heavily diluted as a brush. I feel like I need to add some more slightly darker areas, but it's almost ready. So let's see how it looks like when the sky is completely visible. I think it's nice. We have one last thing to do. I'll make a new layer above the sky. I'll choose white and the watercolor for everything as a brush. And now I'll paint dots of different sizes. It will be snowflakes falling. I'm just going to lower the opacity a bit and that's it! Those polar bears are all done! If you think I've earned it, please give this video a like and subscribe the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your support, thanks for watching and happy creating!